market. Um, all the industry has to do is turn to a government or turn to somebody like me and say, would you comment? Um, the, the problem is solvable, but to answer your question, sir, uh, it's really the modulation or the pulse frequency, the carrier waves that they put in that tend to do most of the damage. All right, Eric, interesting questions. Thank you. And um, here's, here's another one. Temba asking this question. What are the effects of microwaves when using Bluetooth in the car, which many of us do, and, and or when the Bluetooth device is actually on your person? Two questions there, ma'am. Uh, the first, you should never, ever use a microwave transmitter inside a car because they reflect all of the microwaves backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and you are effectively putting yourself into a microwave oven. That is the first thing. The other thing is that we know from experiments, and this has been published, that when you have microwaves near your brain, we know that it was carried out on children and a child who used a microwave transmitter, an ordinary cell phone, for two minutes had his natural brain waves disrupted for two hours afterwards. Now, when you disrupt your natural brain waves, it's called entrainment, any personality change, depending which part of the brain you're, tra you're changing, any personality change can occur, and, and that's just with two minutes. So if you have children in your car or you are using a Bluetooth near your brain, you are effectively entraining your brain. Now, if you're using your Bluetooth for uh, several minutes, then the chances are your brain will be entrained for many, many, many hours. And if you use a mobile phone and Bluetooth, a mobile phone and Bluetooth uh, on and off through the day, then your brain will not actually function properly and you, you could experience all sorts of neurological funny feelings. Uh, and, and I'm afraid th this is, was the basis of, of my, my spy training. This is what they were used for. And uh, lots more questions coming from from listeners, and uh, I've also got some more questions. And if you've just tuned in, we're chatting to Barry Trower, retired British military intelligence scientist, and uh, he's here to answer your questions. He's out here as a guest of the Electromagnetic Radiation Research Foundation of South Africa, and I'll give you details of the talk uh, that he is going to be giving. That's a talk, a public presentation this evening at 7 p.m., but I'll give you those uh, those details a little bit later on talk radio 702 we're talking 2010 on 011 883 0702 all right we're going to run out of time but uh, but let's see how we how we go is there a minimum amount of texting that is safe for girls uh, I, I, the question is too hard for me to answer. It, it, it's, it, the question really is like, is there a minimum amount of cigarettes a child could smoke and stay safe? Uh, there are so many complicated uh, issues here. A girl may just text once, send the microwave straight through her ovaries and cause genetic damage, or she may text for a month and have no specific issues. So you just can't say? It, it's the, 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 the question is too hard to answer. You were saying to me a moment ago, whilst we were off air, that um, if a child uses a cell phone once a year, it's, it's, it's once too many. Is that not being too rigid, too melodramatic? My own government has said that children should only use cell phones in a life and death emergency. Some countries, I believe Russia, actually ban children from using cell phones. But if we stick to the life and death emergency, if a child says to me, I've used my cell phone once a year, I would say, well, you have a, a pretty rough life to have an emergency like that every year. A, a child should not use a cell phone only in a life and death emergency. Uh, and there are other medical issues that I don't have time to go through to do with the immune system and the development of the nerves. But... Um, a child should not use a cell phone unless it is a life and death situation. And it should not, emphatically, uh, the mask should not be sighted in a school ground. W absolutely not, without a shadow of a doubt. Let's uh, see if we can answer this uh, question from Moira. Hi there, Moira. 
Hi. Um, hi, Barry. And Good Jen. afternoon, ma'am. Um, my question is, do satellite dishes emit um, microwave radiation? And I'm not talking about the sort of home TV satellites. I'm talking about these 50-meter diameter satellite dishes. And the reason I ask is that I have a, a factory next door to an area that's um, like a satellite farm. And I've been working there for 15 years, and my health has deteriorated to the point where I, I can't even work anymore with neurological problems and various health problems. The easy answer to your question, ma'am, is yes, they can. Um, and is it the microwaves that, that are the problem? Because these are satellites that I believe some of them track um, satellites um, orbiting the Earth and um, two that are located about 10 meters from my factory are at least 50 meter diameter. If they're tracking satellites orbiting the Earth, mm -hmm. um, it, it, to be honest, it, it depends what the dish is there for mm -hmm. and what it's doing. If it's tracking a satellite, then nothing should be coming your way. Mm -hmm. If it is tracking a satellite, picking up information and forwarding it to a cell tower... Yes, that's or, what it does. ...or receive mm -hmm. from a cell tower... If it's receiving from satellites and forwarding it to a cell tower, that is... Uh, generally sort of in the form of a beam and if you are in in, in the way of that boom beam then y you are absolutely correct ma'am that could be the explanation of your illness without a shadow of a doubt and um, can it cause things like um, clinical depression and neurological problems I've I've lost okay, Maura, I, Maura, I can't uh, be too oh, explicit okay. about that, but Barry will answer that question thanks yes okay fantastic Barry you'll stay for a few minutes after the news of course. Fantastic. That'd be absolutely lovely. Otherwise, we're going to run out of time. We've got lots and lots of interesting questions coming our way, including uh, the use of Wi-Fi, which, of course, affects so many South Africans and so many people all around the world, in your house, in your car, and, uh, and in your office as well. So let's talk about that.